Hello beer tubers and welcome to another beer review with me Peter, the master of hoppets. Today, checking out the first stout coming out of Omnipolos Kirka, or Omnipolos Kirk, Kirka, I think that's how you'd say it. Omnipolos Church in Sweden. Omnipolo, if you didn't know already from my previous review of their triple IPA, just launched uh, the first few beers from their, the, at least big beers from their church brewery. It's been in the works for a while, but they finally have their own facility now, just outside of Stockholm, to like a, it's a suburb of Stockholm, like Suda or something. I think it says here on the can, right? Sundbyberg in Sweden. And uh, yeah, they're producing all kinds of stuff there. And part of the big thing is this brewery was made for was making beers like this, crazy, thick, intense, rich stouts. And this is the first attempt at one. So I got these from Henok from Omnipoyo. He personally sent them over Got him straight from the canning line. It's like shipped over a box with a, actually quite a few cans of each, which is awesome. So thanks a ton to Henok. Henok, and of course, just because I got got the beers from Henok from Omnipoyo, the founder of Omnipoyo, I'm not gonna you know say oh it's great just because he sent it. I'm always gonna be honest as you guys know, uh, and say my honest thoughts. So this one is called Elma. That's it. Elmer. It says Elmer NMT, which might mean Elmer New Money Ticker. I don't know. And then it says Elmer Elmer Auto Novus Pecunias. I should have looked up what that means. And then the Great Whale. Pretty <laughs> cool label as well. You know, it looks like on the dollar bill and Illuminati and all that stuff. But a great label. But this is a 15.5% Imperial Milk Stout with coconut, vanilla, coffee, and lactose. And it's nitro as well. It's nitro cans. So Henok told me, as you saw, as we'll see in the pour now, shake the can, or not shake it, but flip it upside down about two times, and then dunk it into the glass as fast as you can. And I developed a huge head. It didn't get I, the same crazy cascading effect as you do with a Guinness with the nitrogen bit widget, but my can, I also had out of the fridge for a bit. So that is probably why. But I wanted to be able to drink it, drink it not ice cold, and you know, I still got a thick looking head there, but it's faded a bit, but we'll see, uh, you know, if, if the carbonation feels lacking, it's gonna be my fault, because you kind of have to activate the nitrogen in beers like this to get it all f foamy and, and in suspension. But again, nitrogen feels lighter on the tongue than carbonation CO2, so, you know, that's gonna be part of it. But it's crazy, a 15.5% beer, and you can swirl up a head like no tomorrow. Look at that. And it's still developing. Like it does look like nitro because the bubbles are like slowly climbing on the sides of the glass. And when I just poured it, it was just like a matter of, of swirling a bit. And it's like, whoop. it was pretty awesome for <laughs> taking pictures, but it looks really good. It's a very dense looking thick imperial stout in the glass. It's got a nice beige, slightly tan head. And as far as I can could gather, it's all real ingredients and uh, local coffee as well. I can't remember from where, but you know, it's, it's cool, you know, Omnipo is starting to do this with like real ingredients, not like all flavorings. But yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Let's check out the aroma on Elmer. Oh man. <laughs> oh shit. What? <laughs> this almost smells like uh, the sacrifice from, uh, from, uh, from, I'm, I'm losing my words, from Anchorage. It is so coconutty it's like coconut milk milky coconut like it's crazy it's not got suntan lotion or anything it is just boatloads onslaught of milky coconut cream of coconut so much coconut like man it actually dominates the aroma quite a lot which i think is a bit of a shame because i'd love to have like like it just the intensity of coconut reminds me of that beer but it's not got the same kind of uh, vibes and all that umami and things like that it's just like full-on coconut there's definitely also vanilla underneath like a nice sweet fudgy vanilla frosting -y thing this is like totally you know pastry new school compared to what I just had oh yeah really fudgy really really fudgy there's definitely like uh, a fudgy kind of chocolate brownie thing underneath first of all I really like how it doesn't smell crazy fake I don't know if Henock still uses a bit of flavorings to boost flavors we didn't talk about that but he did that back in the day but that milky coconutty thing is why I think this is definitely partly real coconut and I'm guessing you know often with loads of coconut and whatnot you get heads that doesn't stick around but maybe you can circumvent that with nitro maybe that was the idea it just smells really good 
It smells new money, but it smells crazy. Let's try it. Cheers. Thanks for the beer, Hanark. That is massive. Woo. I'm almost getting like banana vibe for some reason right there for a sec. Woo. This is big beer. It is candy. Like it is so pastry. It's, it's not fake pastry, but it's pastry because it's sweet. There's boatloads of lactose in this. Like it has huge like marshmallow vanilla vibes. And loads of coconut. And you can definitely feel like it all, it's almost like drinking a beer without CO2 because the, um, the nitrogen is so fine. So just, you don't have the same like feeling on your lips. It's almost like, it's the same feeling with Guinness. Guinness is like super carbonated. You're getting a feeling like this in here, but it's 10 times thicker and richer. It really reminds me of, so this really reminds me of what Americans are doing now with pastry stouts with real ingredients exactly like what's going on in the states uh like really intense sweet fudgy caramelly vanilla frosting uh, like brownie and maybe not it's like coconut milk in there or something like that it's not maybe not so much brownie batter but it's so densely and coconutty i would definitely say personally sacrifice from anchorage is a, uh, definitely a better beer because this to me just lacks umami and some roasty malt and sweet and like richness and just some layers from the base like this is more about the adjuncts than it's about the imperial stout well it's of course also about the imperial stout there's definitely some stouty flavors but it's not as much as in maybe i would personally enjoy it's scarily drinkable for 5 15 percent beer but i think it's because it's so sweet like there's so much sweetness it's almost like drinking a coconut chocolate shake or something like that because there's so much coconut i will say unfortunately because there's so much coconut the coffee is a bit of an afterthought on the aftertaste there's some roasty maltiness and and a slightly charry edge and the coffee plays in there I, I wish the coffee was a bit more balanced with the rest of the adjuncts because the big thing is in the coconut and also vanilla like huge fudgy vanilla or, or a vanilla frosting type flavors um and you know it could be vanilla sugar i don't know it to me though it per se it doesn't really taste fake it just it's really intense and really thick and rich like compared to some of the contract brews we had earlier this year that was brewed i think it was like demonin and was the one in i can't remember what it was like the bottles where brent and i were a bit disappointed and a bit thin and whatnot this is totally not that this is crazy thick and rich like the, the weird thing though, I probably would be able to drink this can on my own, even though it's so strong, because some for some reason the drinkability is keeping it, like the sweetness is making it a little bit drinkable. I guess it's not sickly, but maybe it's also because it's lightly chilled. Like it's not, you know, it's not ice cold or warm. You know, it's like in between. It's, what is this, like maybe 10 degrees, 12 degrees, 12 degrees? I think it's a really good, you know, first barrel aged stout. Uh, or barely first adjunct stout but i really hope we're going to see some that are not as, as, as sweet as this but i think there is loads of stuff in the works i mean potentially with the equipment they have and just the first few beers omnipoyo could really like with the new church brewery start to do some crazy beers like just the hearing what the equipment can, can do and what others like they have the craziest pay, pay, playground for making crazy beer at the moment in europe um yeah, this is a massive beer. I think a lot of people will love this more than me and totally go ape shit over it because it's just, it is crazy. But I will, you know, I would want a bit more balance in the sweetness and just in terms of at least the other adjuncts because balance isn't per se what you look for in a pastry stout. But like, again, the coconut and vanilla dominates. There is definitely chocolate, but coffee really for me is an afterthought. But it's not lacking in mouthfeel. There's no trace of booze, like... Then the other thing is maybe I want a bit more like the just the base to shine a bit more. There's definitely something like I can definitely taste right now. Like there is a bit of a roasty and slightly umami thing underneath, but I feel like the lactose cuts it like really quick. Like it's it's there for a sec, but then it's 
it's it's kind of gone, but it, it's still really good. I'm, I'm gonna go, I don't wanna say it's world class, but I'm gonna go 94. I think it's really fucking good. I think maybe 93, something like that, because it is quite sweet, but it's around those marks. But I think with work, man, they can churn out probably some really, really dope beers at the new brewery. I'm looking forward to that. I'm really looking forward to try the sessionable beers, like the lagers and whatnot, because uh, they have equipment for that too, like lagering tanks. They, man, they, it seems like they can play around a lot at that facility. You should go and look up online. And this just seems like a huge advert for Omnipolo's church, and I'm thinking the beer is good and everything. It isn't. It is a good beer. Check it out for yourself. But if you don't like really sweet beers, this will be too sweet for you, but if you love full-on flavors of, of adjuncts, you'll love this. Like, it is full on with what it says on the can, mostly maybe coconut and vanilla, but it's a, it's a huge, like if you want huge pastry beer, this is it, this is it, and it's fun, and it's enjoyable. But I would want a, a few things, as I mentioned, to, to hit really high marks, but still off to a very good start. So if you guys had a chance to try Elma by Omnipoyo from their church, let me know what you thought of it. Thanks a ton to Henrik for sending this can over. You the man, dude. The rest, I'm definitely gonna share with the boys. They need to try this as well. And yeah, as always, remember to comment, subscribe. Check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Ring the bell for future notifications about videos as well. And I'm going to say cheers in some crazy thick pastry boy stout. MMG stout. <laughs> See you guys in another beer review.